everyone, this is a quick uh, overview of the MR that I've created for language server. So essentially what I've done is I've created a, a version of the VS Code extension that can talk to the language server for workflows. Uh, so what the v VS Code extension essentially invokes a method on the language server to say start this workflow uh, using a command. The language server then spins up a Docker container. Uh, it also copies the executor binary to the Docker container and then starts up the Docker container, which then connects to the workflow service over gRPC. The Docker container then also mounts the same workspace as the VS Code extension so that we can share files. Uh, so again, VS Code extension spins up, uh, the, uh, talks to the language server, the language server spins up a Docker container and then talks to the Duo workflow service. So what I have here locally is, uh, I've got this view here. Um, and so I can go ahead and if I say Docker PS right now, there's no, there's no Docker containers running. I can go ahead and just say start your workflow and I say test. Uh, this is the goal I have to enter for now. It doesn't really matter. And then here's a container image. Uh, so this, I can provide any container image here. Um, and so I say Python and that should then start up the Docker container. So as you can see here, I'm running the Duo workflow executor, which has been copied over to the container. So this is like the standard Python container, but I'm copying the executor so that um, we can then connect over to the uh, Duo workflow service. So now if I actually exec into this container, uh, oops, keep forgetting to do that. Uh, I can see that I'm in the container and that has the executor binary. I can actually go into the workspace and if I say ls minus a, I can see that I have the same uh, files mounted on the container as I had here. All right. Uh, so that's that's uh, one more thing to note here though uh, before we end is the fact that I've got the Duo workflow executor tarball, which is basically the binary as a part of the language server in the vendor directory. Uh, so I've vendored it at the moment. We can figure out whether we want to like download it on the spot or do something else in order to actually obtain the executor binary. Um, uh, and it's similar to what we've done for vendoring for the tree sitter VASM files. So this is just the binaries of file rendered in. That's it. Thank you.